So this is a little tour of our little caravan. I say little. This boy's on their bed. That is actually supposed to be his sofa <laughs> and a table in the middle. But oh, oh dear, little. Um, but actually, we decided the boys just need a nice big bed to lie on together. So yeah, we've everything's underneath really. We've got the table underneath, all protected. And then we can just take it all apart and hand it over when it gets um, picked up in August. So yeah, this is our tiny little kitchen. So this is the extent of our kitchen. Tiny. Really mm. tiny. One person cooking. That's all you can get in here. Lucky. Mr K. It's always Mr K. Steak stir fry. Nom, nom, nom. And then we always have this one. The waiting, eyeballer. Waiting to be fed. We've got a sink under here and a hob under here and then microwave kind of built in and this is pretty cool so <clears throat> this is an all-in-one oven freezer and fridge which obviously you never see anywhere else it's pretty cool little seating area so that would turn into a single bed got our tv there as well that would turn into a single bed but we don't use it for that it's just us in here and then we changed our um we changed the bed into a queen size bed um because we're both massive <laughs> so yeah much more comfortable does mean those cupboards there are a little bit more difficult to get into but it's all about comfort our storage and then in here we've got a tiny little toilet um and a little sink and stuff so it's actually a shower so the tap actually connects up there and you can put a shower curtain in and everything but um it's a bit small again <laughs> we're quite massive and we're right opposite the shower block where we are so we decided not to do that the toilet is um it's got a little cassette underneath so you empty it from the outside but i'll show you that and then the tap just runs off the same as the kitchen one and then we just have to refill the water about every two days there's like a 50 litre tank which is underneath here and then there's a water heater next to it so that's how that all works and then yeah we've got a little gas gas uh, heater there loads of storage so yeah it's pretty cozy and it's done us for four months so far and yeah so we'll be selling it on August on the 10th of August it get picked, it gets picked up and yeah it's been super comfy isn't it buddy hello you good boy and then out here you have to excuse the mess because it's a lot of sorting out what we're taking with us and what we're not so far that pile has got to come with us so we're trying to figure out the logistics of getting it out there so we bought a tumble dryer because uh, washing is really expensive here and then we've got like an air fryer which is super cool it's a ninja ninja foodie which is awesome these two boxes also coming with us but yeah uh, that's all hubby's work tools which i try and block off because it just offends me to look at um yeah so the dogs have got all this space as well so we put all rubber matting down so they can be out here all the time so you're a good boy you love it out here don't you yeah little ball. good boy and then yeah, we just block this off. We put towels up because they just bark at all the other dogs that come past. So, uh, a bit protective. But yeah, that is our awning. So this is the outside. Got hubby fixing the motor. Oh, dog's barking. So yeah, got to replace the suspension struts on the Freelander. Typical because it's going to be sold soon. So of course something goes wrong. But yeah, this is the whole awning. Let's see how big it is. All the way along. Back of the caravan. And then round here, this is the part where we put the water in. So the tank's just in here under the sofa. You can just see Loki in the window. Um, and then along here, this is where the cassette for the toilet is. So, yeah. Uh, it's not the most pleasant job, but probably have to do it every three to four days just goes and empty it into the septic part on the site and then yeah this is our 
humble little home until August. So I thought I would show you our uh, waste removal. So this is basically our um, cassette for our toilet. So what you do is literally just take it out and then you walk it all the way over there and just behind oh, just behind the, the hedge here there's like a little um septic tank so literally just pour it away and then you get these chemicals so uh the pink one goes in the top tube up there and there's a little measure on the side i'm not sure you can see it here and that is uh basically the fluid in the toilet that washes away and then the blue she goes inside the tank you mix it with a bit of water and yeah it just makes it it kind of dissolves everything and it makes it a little bit less disgusting but actually i've been doing it i was quite against it obviously when we first moved in but then yeah i was like well you know sod it it's got to be done so i've been doing it and then we just keep these in the front of our caravan uh, which is where we keep all our gas tanks as well, gas canisters. So that's as our heating and our cooking. So yeah, there you go. So there you go, there is a little insight into kind of how we live at the moment and how we're kind of set ourselves up so that we're ready to do a similar thing in Canada. Obviously we will have a septic tank for ourselves so the toilet will kind of all be plumbed in um, to that and the well will just feed us water all the time so we won't have to fill that up so that's a bonus. Um, but yeah, we've been here quite a while now, about four months. We've got um, about six weeks to go um, until we fly. So yeah, it's done us really well. We've been really comfortable. But yeah, just a little, little insight into kind of what it's like living in a caravan. And yeah, it's been super comfortable. Anyway, thanks for watching.